This was one of those ideas that come to you at three o'clock in the morning. And I thought, why haven't I thought of this before? This could be quite useful in lots of scenarios. I want a little toggle or a parameter in Power Query that will show or hide columns. I'm gonna use it with financial year columns in my calendar table. Let's go. The file I'm gonna use in this example, uh, I'll put a link below, and there's also some other content, an Excel version, and also a timetable if you're doing time analysis. Uh, but let's have a look at this example, okay? Here's my calendar table. I've got a whole video about the calendar table. And I've got these financial year columns, financial quarter, financial year. Okay, I've also got some sort orders, so sort by financial month. But what if I don't need financial year? I just need calendar year. Well, one way is to delete the columns at the end and sort of delete the code. But I was thinking it would be nice to have a little switch that I could just say, yeah, I wanna see those or I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Power Query and let me zoom in a little bit. So I've got these various steps at the top and it, you can put in, you know, it gives you today's date. Then you can type in a start date or and the number of years in the future that you want your calendar to run. And it's got a uh, month number for the end of the financial year. So if your year end ends in June, it'll build a nice little sequential number for you and some other elements. So all that, those sorts of things generate these financial year calcs. So you've got a financial year number. Let me just show you here. There's a sort by column to give us our, you know, number one is against July, number two is against August. It gives you your financial year range. Let me just, these sorts of things. But not everybody needs those. So I'd like to turn off those, okay, if somebody goes into the month number for end of financial year and puts a zero in there. And this, I'm just sort of thinking about this and there's, I'll do you some other examples as well. So here we go, let's just do this one. I've got to go into the advanced editor. Okay, it always looks a bit scary, the advanced editor, but it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go right to the end. And my financial year sort of columns, they all happen in this little chunk. So what I wanna do is a little if statement to say, if the month number selected is zero, then just return this this point, okay, what it looks like at this point. So let me just go back and show you a second. So that day since today, okay, let me just go to the steps here. Uh, dates since today, my calendar would look like this, okay? And there's no financial months, financial years or anything like that. All that happens in the following steps. Okay, so let me go back into the advanced editor. Let me go and scroll down the bottom. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is put a comma, and then add another step called um, load this, okay, equals, and put a little if statement. So lowercase if in Power Query. So if, uh, and I scroll back up here to find out what I called it, it was month number for financial year, I could, let's just copy and paste it. Okay, if month number of financial year equals zero, then I want to spit out at the end of it, days since today, okay? So if I start typing days since, there we go, it's that one with the backwards, the close off arrow that I use with my little emojis, okay? Else, I want to actually return, oh, sorry, that little bit is getting in the way, okay? Else, I want that financial year calcs, just this, this little one here. Okay, financial year calcs, and there it is. And then at the end, I wanna spit out the load this step. Actually, no, gotta be the same letters, case sensitivity and all that. And I click done. So here you can see my financial year, my financial quarter. But if I go back up to the top, and change my month end to zero and press enter for my sort number. Then I scroll back on the bottom and click load this. There won't be any financial years. Simple. 
no need to delete the code. I can just toggle it on and off if it's needed, which is lovely. All right, and then in the advanced editor, I would say, you know, use zero if FY not required. Okay, done. And that comment will show up when somebody hovers over that step. Okay, so let's go close and apply. And then my financial years have gone. Unfortunately, I'd have to recreate these little subfolders if I reloaded it, but you know. Um, what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments what sort of scenarios you can think of, if there are any for using this. Um, I've got a few ideas about hiding columns and uh, actually skipping certain steps in certain scenarios. So potentially a few more videos to come. Okay, if you like this, hit the little like button. Please subscribe. More importantly, let other people know about this channel. Uh, if you find it useful, hopefully they will. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later.